just let you know I am recording. All of our body worn cameras are on, just so that you're aware. What are you up to, fella? No. Alright then, so in this one as you've seen, Ash is doing a silent treatment, which to be honest, I think that's probably what he's best at doing, because I watched a video yesterday he uploaded, it's no longer on his channel, what I can find, where he doesn't really do a silent, well he does do a silent treatment and then uh, some, he defends himself with reasonable force or open hand push, and he ends up, I'm pretty sure the police come and he talks too much and admits to something he never did and then signs a community resolution order, which don't ever do that. And I'm pretty sure he agrees to do an anger management course within six months. Don't ever talk to the police. And for Ash, I think you get a little bit nervous when put in high stress situations, which is understandable, quite a lot of people do. But I honestly do believe you are better at the silent treatment videos, just like this one. This one is smashed out of the park as always. And let's just get into this video. Welcome to the channel. Excuse me, why are you taking pictures? Can I ask why you're taking pictures, please? Excuse me. Hello. Can I ask you why you're taking your photo photograph? I'll have to call the police if you don't respond. Hello? Don't trespass. Alright then, so this person on the forklift, like Ash, you need to be a little bit careful. People on forklifts, we've already seen what's happened before. But. I can't really fault this person, he's pretty polite, a little curious, who wasn't rude or anything like that, he asked uh, pretty pol politely and calmly what he was doing, didn't really try to force anything, did say he was going to call the police and not to trespass, but that's just standard, isn't it? And I always do say, if you're unsure of something, phone the police and let the police educate you. Really, the police should tell you on the phone, the call handler, that the person's doing nothing wrong. Just wondering if we can assist you in any way. Hello? Just wondering if we can assist you in any way. I'll take that as a no. Okay then, so their attitude can't really fault him, come out a little bit curious, asked him if he needs help. He doesn't need help, he took that as a hint, he walked away and then pulled out his phone. The only thing I don't agree with is getting so close to the way he did with his phone, uh, practically putting it in Ash's face. That's the one thing I do not agree with with their behaviour on that interaction there. But apart from that, if you want to take photos, nothing's stopping you. Step back, just start getting people's personal space, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. How are you? Is everything okay? Is everything okay? Can I help at all? Okay. Well, they're getting the silent treatment. Hit that like button. 
Okay then, so this is where I, I have the issue. As you've seen, I'm not bothered about the workers. The workers are just doing what they're doing. The recycle centre, for it being a recycle centre, is very clean. We have seen very dirty recycle centres, but that's not my issue. Is The issue is the police come in on lights, which probably means they come on sirens further up the road, all for a person filming. Now, I don't know what was said in the call, and I don't think we'll ever find out what was said in that call. But something was said to make them come on lights. Like I said, they'll probably come on sirens further up to get through the traffic and stuff. But it's a bit unnecessary. It's not an emergency. So the fact that they've, they've probably phoned 999 as an emergency rather than a non-emergency phone line, it's what irritates me. And the fact that they've sent a car out on lights and probably sirens to attend is even more annoying because it's just a person with a video not speaking which has done nothing wrong right sir how you doing are you right? You know all right? Just letting you know I am recording. All of our body worn cameras are on, just so that you're aware. What are you up to, fella? No. You all right? You okay? Yeah. So they've been educated. Great news. Okay then, so like I said, that's an even bigger problem for me, the fact that uh, three police officers turned up in one car, which could have been used for an actual crime when all of this, whatever was said to them in there, however long it took, we don't know because it was a jump cut. Ash, if you're watching, let us know how long was in between that and how long the police was actually in there for to educate them when it all could have been done over the phone. Now, this is what the problem is, because why did they send police in the first place? Because sending the police on lights must have meant they thought it was an emergency. Now, whatever was said must have made it sound like it was an emergency, as if I was to phone them now and say there's somebody filming outside and not speaking... There's nothing... They probably won't send anybody. Or well, I'm well, saying that, they probably would. But they shouldn't, should they, in my opinion. They should just say, well, they're not doing nothing wrong when they've actually committed a crime or in the process of committing a crime. Give us a phone back and then we'll send somebody. That's what they should be doing. But they're not. It is, to me... Sending officers to a person filming just because he hadn't spoke to any of the staff is absolutely pointless. How long did the waste to do this and how many crimes was committed in that process of them doing that and calls they couldn't attend to because three of them was talking to people what don't know the law when the call handler could have done that. It's as simple as that. But all this is just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video. It does help on YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.